Lands raw. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's nothing that sort of sends shivers down my spine with regards to sound in that of a lion's roar and especially if you ah oh, chameleon sorry mark sorry about okay. that i'm going to try and see i'm going to try and get him okay. i'm going to see if i can you don't mind if i uh if uh, just give me a second guys or oh, i'm going to try and if he wants to be coaxed i'm just see if i can get him there Switch the light off. Yes, please. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's just see if we can focus on that. How's that? That's a bit difficult for Mark to try. Uh, it's not focusing so close. Okay, for some reason. Still not. Focal distances. Oh. There we go. Okay. Difficult through the foliage, but we've got one of the more shy, very, very secretive nocturnal creatures here. This is the flat neck chameleon. If you can hear me a bit better, I'm going to try and get closer to the, if that's possible, to the microphone. Is that okay? Can you see that, Mark? Yep. Perfect. Okay. All right, we've got a flat neck chameleon. One of the more common of the species, Archer. It looks like a, not a fully grown just yet. They grew to be another body length, his size. And um, if I'm feeling his body, he's relatively cool. Now he's obviously, during the, the heat of the day, he pretty much stays out of the sun. Um, and uh, he's just sort of, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at his eyes. He's have got one of his independently moving eyes look keeping an eye on me at the back here just in case I don't, sort of don't do him a harm so he pretty much stays out of the sun in the middle of the day and then he comes out at night and he'll feed on things like grasshoppers that are perched on branches moths butterflies and of course they've got that telescopic tongue that shoots out the same distance or length that of his body and it's got that sticky end to it so I'm going to try. He's very reluctant to move. He's put his one paw on me. Now, in, in Southern Africa, or in Africa, we've got seven different families of lizards. Okay, This is one, and um, one of the species that cannot shed their tail and regenerate. So how he will sort of avoid predation is um, his camouflage. Of course, everyone knows the saying, you know, to change color like a chameleon and of course he can't change into a pink or a blue it's different shades of greens to browns to a very dark to a black and how he does this is he's got pores in the skin or what what are termed as chromatophores that open and dilate and uh, giving that dark or the green colors so definitely not pinks and purples and things like that and um He's still very green at the moment, just from if I'm looking at him here. And this is a good sign because often if he's threatened, he will go to a very dark color, which is supposed to be a very threatening color, as well as he'll hiss and he'll puff his body up. And how he gets his name, the flat neck chameleon, is he'll th sort of puff that throat out and he's got little ridges in it under his chin that have got a bright yellow to orange color that shows that sort of contrast and danger color so he's got camouflage he's got color changes he's got this these independent independently moving eyes so you can see things coming so he's pretty 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 well covered and uh, <laughs> the fact that i'm holding him will definitely freak out a lot of the shangan people that i've experienced a lot of the ladies especially um there's a lot of folklore and beliefs about the chameleon 
because of those independently moving eyes that they can see forwards and backwards into the future and the past so they definitely do not revere this creature as a um, as a beautiful one they will run away from it and scream rather than do something that I'm doing now all right he's so relaxed I'm going to see if I can pull him back. I'm very happy that uh, he hasn't hissed at me. He's so relaxed. He's actually unraveled his tail on the back here. And he's just resting it on my hand. And of course, I'm a lot warmer than what he is. So he's maybe getting some of that warmth from me as well. He's very chilled. Alrighty. put them in exactly the same tree uh, as they generally stick to one or two trees in the area and uh, if I put him somewhere else he may be in another chameleon's area and they might end up fighting so always make sure and you don't always have to pick up chameleon I just as I know them quite well and know how to handle them I know how not to damage them or hurt them and I know exactly what to do with it afterwards so not everyone should be doing this, and if you know exactly what you do. awesome I love chameleons I love them to bits so I'll just put my earpiece in go go now <laughs> 